Hey guys, we are going to jump into job form really fast. I want to share a few things with you as far as um, setting it up, how you can use it. I'll show you a few examples. Um, job form is free up to a certain number of forms. I think it's five. I did post the criteria for that. After five, you do have, after five or so many submissions, you do have to get a subscription for it. But if you keep it um, under those five forms and submissions, you can do it for free. And it's a great asset for your business. So let me screen share. <clears throat> and let me pull up Jot form. Okay, so here is job form. This is the platform right here. Here's pricing. I'll show that to you really fast. Here is a starter free. All of these things are included. So you can do this. It will be free for you up to five forms, 100 monthly submissions, one user per team. So making your own account, you'd be the only user. Um, 100 megabytes available space, and a 1,000 monthly form views. It'll show you those views and 500 um, total submission storage. Now, you can go ahead and do a bronze, silver, or gold, but most of us will just stay at free, okay? So I'm going to log in, and we are going to look at a few things. So here's my forms. So it's going to give me my forms that I currently have here, okay? Um, I should have showed you the main part here. We'll do this first. Okay, my forms, there's templates. You can pick from different templates here. Um, you can cruise through them. They have pre-made templates. Let's say you want to do an order form, new customer registration. A lot of people will use this and how typically I started using it was to create a sample request form. Um, if you want to search for a form um, so you don't have to start from scratch, you can start from scratch. You can come and you can search for, let's see if there's anything on sample forms. Yep, there's some sample forms. So you could look through these and see if anything fits the criteria that you're looking for. Again, you can do it yourself and customize it your own. You can look through the different forms. So there's lots of different options for form integration. Now, what I love about this for integration and one of the other things that we um, I shared with you guys in our guide section is you can actually link it to Google Sheets, MailChimp, Dropbox, all of these, it can be integrated into. Google Sheets and MailChimp are great because a job form can be made for samples. And if it is linked to your MailChimp, it will actually take their contact information and put it into your MailChimp database. And that way you can keep track of um, follow-up with those individuals of samples through your MailChimp and through um, job form. So let's say John Doe fills out your sample form with their email address and information. If you link it to MailChimp, it will put John Doe over into your MailChimp contact list. So great options there. Um, you can go through all the things that they offer. I mostly do the form builder, but there's other things that they have here, support and pricing and things like that. So let's go back. I'm going to show you kind of a simple, I have one, two, three. Okay, I have four. I'm going to show you my sample form request, okay? So in my sample, I'm going to edit the form. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So in my sample request form, I have chosen this background, okay? Um, and when you're building it, you can choose the background, you can choose your name, what you want to ask them for. So for here, I want their first and last name. 
I want their email, their address, their phone number. Here I have pick a product. Um, that's how I wanted to do it for my sample request form. If you um, limit the samples that are available, maybe you'll put BFF, Moisture 911, and they can pick two to three samples, however you want to do it. I have pick a, a product. So face product, body product, open to anything, hands, hair, feet, makeup, just depends on what we're offering, right? Um, anything additional to know regarding your sample pack. So maybe they have allergies or they don't like certain smells. Um, this would be a great place for them to do it. Now, if you want to make a separate little um, section like that, you can and say, do you have any allergies? Yes or no. So let's do, let me show you that. So I can come here. And I can come down. So here's name, email, address, phone. Let's do yes or no question. Okay. And it put the, it right here. I'll be able to move it. And if I say, do you have any oops, allergies? I just saw that little guy swimming. Allergies. Yes or no. And then you could have one under it that says um, what type of allergies. If yes, what kind of allergies are there? Do you have? Um, so that can go there. And then I could move this. Let's see if I can move it. I can move it. right here, do you have any allergies? And it's gonna put it there. Um, additional things you need to know. Would you like to hear about making extra money? They can put yes or no. Would you like to hear about hosting? Best way to contact you. So you can have as much or as little into your job form. The settings here, um, you can kind of go through the settings. If it's integrated into anything, you'll see um, integrations. So here would be where you would integrate it into MailChimp. So you can see I have a green arrow there. That means if someone fills out my Beauty Insider, um, I get notification and their contact information goes to my MailChimp. So they become part of my email database. Um, and then publish, you can get a link to publish, you can publish it to Facebook, you can get a QR code. There's lots of ways that you can um, share your job form. Um, I'm going to show you a preview. So let's preview it. So when, again, this is one I've used before, I haven't updated it. And I'm happy to walk you through how to do it in another video, but I kind of wanted to give you an overview of it. Um, this says self-care enthusiast. If I go like that, it's going to ask for their first and last name, just like we saw, their email, their address. And I highly suggest doing address this way so that um, they have their street address, city, state, and zip code, because a lot of times they'll forget something. Phone number. And you can make some of the answers um, that they must answer and some optional. Again, I'm going to click through these. And just good. They will go through the same thing and then they'll submit it. And then it will submit and give them a thank you. Your um, submission has been received. Um, again, you can see share the job form this way also. And it's super easy to um, to do. I mean, it's not hard to put together. Let's go back. So go back, you might be on my, I'm gonna unpreview. Okay, and then we can go to job form. So you can have up to five of those. You can also go in to the sample request form um, and publish the form, share the share template. So let's say I want to share this with you guys so you can use it and maybe uh, redo it for yourself, but come up with a base template. 
I can share that with you guys and you can do it that way. Um, I'm clicking all around you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, what was the other one? View edit settings. Share a template. There was something else I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so, all right, all right, all right, here it is. Where is it at? Oh, submissions. So underneath, you see where it says 94 submissions? If I click on this, it is going to give me the names and numbers of people that have asked for samples. So you can go in, you can export it to um, a different, download it, export it, look at it from here. You can add a tab to it. So you can create different tabs. Um, you can start from scratch to make these different tabs. There's so much that you can do and we can kind of pick away at those, but I wanted to give you an overview on how those can work for you and how you can use that in your business. So that is a short tutorial on just the overview of JotForm. And I can go ahead and make the next video on making your own job form. So hopefully that helped a little bit. Ask any questions and we will move forward.